Many road commissions in the UP are getting ready for what could be a pretty nasty spring. The Dickinson County Road Commission is already taking preventive measures. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Abby Miller has an up-close look at how they're preparing for the spring thaw. I've got two employees that go out monitor the system daily to check for any flooding, any plugged culverts. Come this spring, you'll be seeing a lot more of these crews out on the road, like here in Dickinson County. The Road Commission has been out for about a month and a half, steaming out culverts and patching up potholes. Then we have the crews out there. There are occasions where we even have to send them out on the weekend if we get calls, you know, where there's some pretty bad potholes. Besides the employees that monitor the county roads, the commission says they also rely on the general public to call in and tell them when they see a nasty pothole. They expect the pothole situation to be so bad this spring that they're planning ahead with resources. And we've just purchased over 90 tons of patch material, so we're ready. And at anywhere from $115 to $120 per ton, they're looking at spending close to $10,500 on patch material alone. Fortunately for them, they received $179,000 in grant money to help with these spring project costs. But potholes isn't the only thing they worry about. One of the biggest concerns is flooding. And this year, especially being we had so much snow, um, we're, we're working on the ditch lines and the, and the uh, culvert steaming. We have been for about a month and a half now. At home, I have a bunch of flooding. It seems like we've gotten more snow this year. My garage is completely filled with water across the bottom. And it seems like the snow is having a large impact in my life right now. The commission says the public can actually help when it comes to projects for this spring. As far as snow plowing, to try not to plow your snow out toward the ditch line and fill the ditch line. It becomes burdensome and troublesome because we've got to go to these locations, remove the snow from the ditch line, and it all takes time. Time that would otherwise be needed to fill in the potholes throughout the area. In Iron Mountain, Abby Miller, TV6 News.